what are the biggest challenges facing financial planners and wealth managers? Because I mean, you've now gone from you know building a successful wealth management financial planning company to now running institutional investing, which now you talk to a lot of other wealth managers and financial Absolutely. advisors, right? Um, and you you have a you have a really unique perspective, being in the seat and now mm-hmm. selling to the seat. Um, what are the challenges right now facing the wealth management industry in your mind? Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. I I think that's really true for me. Thank you for mentioning that, Matt. You know, I, I did run a very successful firm and now those my what who used to be my colleagues are now in a certain sense my clients because most of the growth that we've had um, with Adesina products has been with independent financial planners and uh, they're wonderful. I mean, I used to be one of them. They're amazing people. Um, In terms of challenges that I see, um, probably the top of mind for me is the wealth transfer that we're seeing as the baby boomer generation ages. Um, They are holding on, that generation is holding on to a lot of wealth. They're holding on to a lot of property and they are not aging gracefully and they're holding really really tight as they age and we're just sort of reaching the the first level of those baby boomers turning 70 75 and we're starting to see a lot of needs for assisted living needs for supportive housing needs for families to be really involved in the care of their elders and the baby boomers are oh, they're stubborn. They're stubborn and they're independent. And so seeing the emotional ramifications, not to mention the financial ramifications of that echo through a family um, is something that I'm seeing a lot of. And so it's not just the wealth transfer, but it's the emotional ramifications that come with seeing mom, seeing dad, seeing auntie, needing more care, potentially having funds to pay for that care, wanting to stay in a home that is not really set up for that and that someone can't live independently anymore. Um, It's really heartbreaking and I'm seeing a lot, a lot of that. 